set a challenge regarding the inadequate representation of black employees in the investment management industry. Today we've got more than three schools, more than 30 students, 10 organisations and it looks like 99 attendees that less than a week ago you knew nothing about. As a group, we have not just worked to highlight these problems, we have created a vision. A vision in which the investment management industry creates maximum opportunity to attract top quality young black talent. We believe in equal opportunities for all parties and that there is beauty and strength in all of our differences. We recognise that there is a specific lack of black candidates in the finance sector. The traditional means of educating future candidates are outdated. Engaging with the black community present in secondary schools and sixth forms offers the opportunity to begin developing a significant talent pool from an early age. A study by the Centre for Education and Youth in June 2018 showed that black boys from underprivileged backgrounds usually feel academically discouraged due to their teachers' assumptions of their ability. The Department of Education reports that 21% of all secondary school students in London are black, making black students the second largest ethnic population in secondary education in the region. We included independent survey questions asking about how realistic they felt about investment management being an eventual career path for them. The survey showed that roughly 65% of respondents felt that the investment management industry was not a realistic job destination for them. Assuring black students that their talents are worth attention is crucial to the long term of DNI recruiting. According to eFinancial Careers, universities that are deemed to be the top 10 most employable candidates for investment management are dominated by Oxbridge and Russell Group Universities. The bar graph you see in front of you is from the Higher Education Statistics Agency and shows that only 5% of all students are black in Russell Group Universities. Finance firm PricewaterhouseCoopers reports that 51% of employees see diversity as a barrier to their organisation's financial progress, even though McKinsey has reported that more culturally and ethnically diverse executive teams were 33% more likely to see better than average profits. Making the financial returns on diversity publicly visible via community investment and corporate social responsibility is important in showing black talent as major financial contributors rather than mere diversity hires. Many companies have suggested that a large problem with attempting to recruit more black people is that there simply aren't enough of them applying for roles in this sector. Students who are actually competent for the role may be eliminated without being able to display their skills. To combat this, we can change some aspects within the screening methods. In effect, this should lead to more black applicants being hired increasing the diversity within the firm. One way we could potentially reduce the detrimental effects of unconscious bias on behalf of interviewers themselves, as we do recognise that this can be a big factor affecting black employment, is through the virtual white screen method. In order to make sure black people are well represented in the investment management industry, firms in London could use the KPI key performance indicator and set a target to make sure 13% of total employees are black or of African descent. Through school partnerships we can break the stereotypes around the job roles from an early age to students prompting more potential black employees to step forward into these roles. There are many things that investment management companies could do to help engage young people especially of black descent. An example of this could be regular posting of BAME success stories on internal newsletters, social media and websites. 73% of millennials found their last position through social media platforms. We can use Instagram to let black people who are already employed in investment management to post and showcase what's in store for other black students who will want to join. One of the main proposals we want to introduce is the use of day in the life of investment management employee vlogs. This would help young people to see the day-to-day -day challenges that investment managers go through. With the popularity of audiobooks, podcasts and documentaries due to their online 
on-demand access, a list similarly, similarly to a reading list will be provided for employees to be able to engage with content pertaining to the topic of diversity and inclusion in general, for example, sexism and racism. This is beneficial as podcasts and audiobooks can be consumed passively, for example, during their daily commute. So the topic of diversity and inclusion is permeating into their life outside of work, as opposed to remaining within the confines of the workplace. What can you expect in return for these solutions? We identified three key returns on investment, and those were a more productive workforce, a more creative workforce, and increased access to clientele from ethnic minority groups. Attracting young black talent is not about, nor should ever be, lowering standards or compromising on the quality of your employees. It is about creating more opportunities for this talent to enter your workforce. And I hope that we have provided many ideas to create such opportunities this afternoon. And I just wanted to say that I thought all of the insights were absolutely fabulous. Um, it was an amazing series of insights. So thank you very much to everybody for that. As I say, some really key takeaways. And I think also the, 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 the need to think about the coverage and the actual direct um, partnership with schools. Um, so, you know, really early on, you know, really at, at, at the point where people are starting to think about the, you know, the, the world of work outside. Thank you to you and the, and the whole of the Black Finance, Un Black Finance Union, the brilliant teamwork and insights and, and practical solutions. So, and then my offer is I'd love to invite the, the whole kind of team to come and present at my firm and, and share your idea. If, you, if you've got the time to repeat what you've done today, introduce you to all the different jobs and careers we have, I'd, I'd love to do that. So, Really fantastic delivery. Um, it was really well structured presentation, well researched and also um, I would say the solutions you came up with are really, really practical and helpful. Uh, the insight to Insta, really fantastic. Use of that is something we probably do not do enough today and we should think about heavily. I've been absolutely blown away by the content. You guys have put a lot of thought together, you've ticked all of the boxes. I've been really, really impressed with, with how comprehensive this has all been. Um, I, I think I was probably drawn to some of the things that have been raised already in terms of um, attracting at the school level, but maybe to take it to the next step, if we think about kind of, you know, maybe schools being the earliest stage of us needing to engage with, and then maybe the universities piece in, is, as the medium step. I guess I was interested in all of this stuff around the Russell Group and the biases that we have as an industry to recruit from a, a very narrow group of universities. Um, and one ask I have is, could I, could we please have a copy of that presentation? Because there's so many good I ideas in it that we would definitely love to take that and share that with our own internal colleagues. And I'd echo what, what Robert sent, or said, I, I'd offer as well to, to have you guys come in and, and speak to some of our, our, our organization, because I, I think you've just done a wonderful job. Um, so first of all, congratulations to everybody. You should be extremely proud. I was very impressed to listen to uh, the great work you've all done and the eloquence with which you presented your material. So really, really well done and congratulations to everyone. I was very nervous beforehand, but I don't think it could have gone better. I've learned how to be a leader in business, and I've also learned how to be a leader when we are working remotely. Moreover, this program has given ethnic minority students, and specifically black students, an opportunity to have our voices heard, and going forward, we hope it doesn't stop here for the industry, but that they take on board our solutions and this becomes the first step in the chain of progressive measures for black people in the investment management industry. And to see them see the impact of it has been absolutely fantastic where they're, they're just noticing how much more potential there is in the corporate world out there. The fact that these large businesses have chosen to take notice and have actually set up this challenge for people like myself and others to participate in and possibly make some extent of change that's really been something that I've learned and that's impressed me about this whole challenge. I've learned that it's not just a finance and it's not all about money and just numbers and stuff. There's more um, sectors to the financial world. What's been absolutely amazing is see their level of focus, that how they are building their individual confidence, their sense of belonging and how they can make steps towards getting into this sector themselves. But what I'm seeing amongst our students in this 
is their belief and absolute motivation that is absolutely required in order to be successful. Not only did I get the opportunity to work with some incredible firms on a task that is very important to me, I was also able to work with some incredible people and learn from them. And this experience is something that I'm very grateful for. So this journey for me has been really eye-opening. And I'd say that what I've, I've really developed the most is my ability to work in a team. Uh, the classroom to boardroom programme as a whole has just been so special. And it's just offered me such a clear understanding of what I want to go on to do. I wasn't that keen on investment management to begin with, but having completed this program now, I can see exactly where it is that I want to kind of fit into this industry and I can see where there's now gaps for someone of my background to move into. We've run classroom to boardroom now for the last 16 years. We've run it in the UK, we've run it in Europe, we've run it in Africa, and we've run it in the Caribbean, but never ever have I seen the quality of presentation that I've seen today. And with the baton of trust now moves from the Black Finance Union to Entrepreneurs in Action, to the 10 CEOs who are sitting today listening to the presentation and the industry. Because from what you've heard today, we are asking you to act.